Right, today we're going to try and make a recipe that meets five criteria. It needs to be cheap, tasty, nutritious, foolproof and scalable. These are recipes that are meant to be just something you throw together easily, can't really get wrong, and maybe they're suitable for students or people on a budget, people who feel they actually can't cook. We're going to learn today how easy it is. So let's just have a look at our ingredients. I've got potatoes, a couple of small onions, pepper, sweet peppers. I'm using these small sweet peppers but you can just use a piece off a larger sweet pepper. Carrots, mushrooms, bacon, tomato soup, a can of tomato soup and a can of beans. I'm using a, a mixed bean salad can but you can use just a can of baked beans if you want. Let's get started. We'll start off by preheating the oven to 180 centigrade. And let's start putting our ingredients together. So I'll move a few things out of the way so I can work. And everything is going to go into this large casserole dish which will go in the oven. Starting with the onions, which we'll cut quite small. Okay, so onions in the dish spread them out. Next, carrots. Now carrots are a bit harder than potatoes and they take a little bit longer to cook so I'm going to cut these smaller than I cut the potatoes. These are nice carrots so I'm not peeling them. I'm just going to, I've just given them a wash and we'll leave the skins on. And we'll just half them lengthways or more or less. And I'm going to cut them into probably half centimetre slices. And again, in the dish, spread them about a bit. Next, the peppers. Just take the seeds out. Now, if you like chilies, you could use a bit of chilli in here as well. And that would be good. I'm making this for a few people, including folks who don't like a lot of chilli, so I'm going to leave that out, but uh, it would be a good addition to this dish, if that's what you like. I'm cutting those into quite small pieces because these have got a lot of flavour, and I want all that flavour to come out and work its way through the dish. So we'll spread them around the dish with the other ingredients. I think we'll put the beans in next. So these beans come in um, like a sweetened brine. I'm just going to drain that off. Okay, so just held the lid on like that and drained that off. Obviously, if you're using baked beans here, you wouldn't bother draining them. You'd keep the, all the sauce that comes with them. And that's going to go in to our dish as well. And get spread around on top. Next, the potatoes. And again, I'm not peeling these. They're quite clean. They've been washed. I'm just going to cut them into largest cubes. So, maybe like that. Sort of rough chunks like that. And those just get scattered across the top there. You yeah, just kind of make this up as you go along. It's about this amount of ingredients, so it really is quite variable. That's one of the things that makes this recipe meet the foolproof criteria, is it doesn't really matter if you get the pro proportions different from what I've got here. It's still going to be good. So what else have we got? Mushrooms. I've got some nice chestnut mushrooms here. I'm just going to chop maybe six of those up. Let's see how that goes. Take the bottom bit of the stalk off and I'm just going to quarter those and chuck them in there. Mushrooms again don't need washing just brush off any debris or dirt that's on them. You can wash them if you want to, I don't. Okay so far that's taken about five minutes to prepare, that's really good. So we're just going to now put the tin of tomato soup over the top. 
Now, I'm using a tin of tomato soup for a very good reason. I could use a jar of passata here, or a tin of tomatoes, but actually I want to use tomato soup because... two reasons. One, it's easy to get. You can get this in any corner shop, any little convenience store will have tomato soup, so that makes it easy. The other thing is that this has got, this is not just tomatoes, this has got seasoning in it. So this has got a lot of the flavour that we're looking for in our final dish. So that tomato soup just goes over the top like that. We also need about half of the can of water just from the tap. Rinses out the inside of the can and means we don't waste any of that soup. We'll actually pour that over like that over the lid to wash that all off and that water goes in there as well because we need the liquid for this dish. That's a 400 gram tin of tomato soup has gone in there plus about half a can of water. Lastly, we've got the bacon. So what we'll do here with this bacon, smoke dry cure streaky bacon and I'm going to roll this up like that and I'm going to nestle these little rolls of bacon down in there with the rind side up. There's a reason for that as well. The bottom bit will cook anyway. The top bit, I want it to go a little bit crispy in the oven. So I want this fat here to crisp up. I think that'll probably do it. There, we've got uh, two, four, six, eight, ten rashes of bacon in there, that's fine. So up to the point where we put the bacon in there, this was actually a vegetarian dish. So you could leave the bacon out or substitute it for something that's suitable for vegetarians. You could cook it completely without the bacon and maybe serve it with halved boiled eggs on afterwards. So anyway, that's the dish ready. That's everything we need to do. That's taken a, no more than 10 minutes to put together. That's now just going to go in the oven for an hour. So there we go, middle tray of the oven. In we go. Doesn't need covering. We'll just leave that for an hour. Okay, so an hour has passed. Let's have a look and see how it's doing. Okay, it's looking pretty good. I'd say those potatoes need a little bit longer still. They still feel a little bit firm. Bacon's cooking nicely. Okay, I think that probably needs about another half hour. And I'm just going to turn the temperature up to 200 for the last half hour. That's had another half hour at 200. Let's take a look. Oh, that's looking really good now. Let's give that a little test with the knife. The potatoes are good. Bacon's lovely and crispy on top. I think we're ready to go. Let's go and serve this up. Let's just serve up a little bit of this. Let's have a little taste. Potatoes are nice and tender now. And cooked. And the bacon's cooked all the way through with a little crispy top there like that. So let's get a little bit of everything there. Beans and bacon and potato. Mmm. The smoky flavour of the bacon has sort of permeated the whole sauce. So we've ended up with something that actually tastes like quite a clever dish, but was really simple to put together. So I'm just going to have this with a nice hunk of crusty bread. So let's see if we met our objectives, which were to make something cheap, tasty, nutritious, foolproof and scalable. Well, it was cheap, certainly it was cheap. We've transformed a tin of tomato soup and some vegetables into a family-sized meal. Uh, it was definitely tasty, you're going to have to take my word for that, but the smoky bacon and, and all the other ingredients have combined to make a really tasty dish. It was nutritious, there's a lot of veg in there, there's a lot of good, good nutrients in there. We left the skins on the potatoes and the carrots, so uh, there's all the vitamins and fibre and things you get from that. It was uh, foolproof and quick. It took us 10 minutes to chuck all of these things in a dish and get it in the oven, so no problem at all there. And scalable. Now here, here we go, this is a dish that we've made for... It serves four people really, but there's only two of us eating it today. So I'm just going to put a dish of this aside in a plastic container from Chinese Takeaway. Just going to put a dish of that like that. I can take that to work during the week and warm that up in the microwave. Or it could even be eaten cold actually, I'm sure that would be quite pleasant cold. So there we go.
So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.